Welcome to video 18 in a series of introductory videos for SolidCam. This video's topic is thread turning. So to do a thread inside of SolidCam, turning is pretty much the same as the turning toolpath. We're going to choose some geometry and then through the um, definition of the tool and definition of the toolpath thread, we'll generate the threading toolpath. So let's take a look at that. So I've already turned this part down. This is about a foot long part. I've turned down that first two inches on the front side there just to clean it up so we can do a thread. So let's add a turning tool path and we'll go to threading. Choose the geometry. In this case, if we really zoom in there, we'll see that we've turned it down. And I'm just gonna grab that edge right there. But by grabbing that edge, it's pretty much the entire edge because I've, I've modeled this up as a thread. So what we'll do is we'll accept that first. And like we saw in video 17, and video 16, uh, I can go into modify geometry and modify the geometry basically. So instead of that entire line, I know that this whole thing is a foot long. So on the back end, I'll just trim it by negative 10 inches. So now I'm really just turning the first two inches of the part. So no matter what geometry is generated by the target profile, I can always go in there and uh, trim it or extend it if I need to. So in this case, we're doing the first two inches. Let's go to tool and select our tool. Now, for the purpose of the video, I've already defined a tool, but I'll show you how we can define a tool from the, from the beginning. So let's do a external threading tool. And you can choose what shape of tool you want. In this case, let's go with a rectangular tool. And then you have the parameters down here that match this detail drawing here. But what you really want to do to get the involute profile correct on your tool is choose it from the table. So in this case, let's say we're doing a UN thread. And then this table pops up with all the threads. So you can actually define your insert and your tool using this table here. But I'm gonna go with tool one because it's appropriate for this thread. Okay. So click the green check mark, make sure it's mounted correctly. As we saw before, levels is really just the safety distance away from the updated stock. Under technology, we can do OD thread, ID thread, face thread, and back thread. Work type, we can do multiple work type. We can give it a step down, a minimum step down, and so forth. We're gonna use a cycle to generate this tool path. And on the left side here, we can tell it again, either the, the, the millimeter pitch or the TPI of the part and the thread size. Now, if we don't know these, again, we can just grab from the table and let that help us out. So let's go to the thread table. UN, and for this we're going to use a two and a yeah two and a quarter. Two and a quarter and four and a half, or by four and a half. So as soon as we add that in there, you can see that it auto populates. It actually grades them out, but it auto populates the TPI and the minor thread diameter. So because I have my geometry on the outside, it knows it's an outside thread, no D thread, and it has a minor diameter. Like we've seen before, approach points. Under technology, which is unique for threading, we can actually choose the pattern. So whichever one of these patterns would best fit your material, if you want to recreate, let's say something like you did manually or something like that, you have the pattern here to go down the thread. Just do the same and calculate. And the toolpath actually looks like, if we just make this transparent, looks just like a turning toolpath. But obviously as that thing is turning, as it's spinning, it actually will generate the toolpath because of the insert. So let's go to our turning simulation. You can see there's a little bit of material that's already been turned. Let's just play this through. In this case, the toolpath is in the way, but we can see the threads on the opposite side. So because I have just that single point thread, that insert, set correctly in my tool table, it'll actually create that thread as you see there. And the same holds true for internal diameters as well. As soon as you choose geometry that is on the inside of a part and you have an internal threading tool, SolidCam will do the same thing. It'll just allow you to do threading. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension two. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. 
and stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.